the power of yet is like Ryan said, it's about if you're trying something and, you know, or, or you, you know, you, you failed at something, um, you can't do that yet. Like for Ryan at the minute, you're not streaming yet, right? You know, for Lee, I'm not sure what you're working on. Oh, yeah, I'm still, you know, I'm still not the ultimate judge, a non-judgmental person yet, right? You're working on it. You're working on it. And the beauty of this was that what happened was if you go to YouTube and type in, if you type in the power of yet, Carol Dweck, you'll see the 11, 11 minute video and the actual scientific research to say that if you start looking at things that I can't do this yet, because, you know, because you're learning it, because you're failing and you're working towards it, it actually has a massive effect on your mind, on your brain. They actually did some research where they, you know, they do the brain scans when people, when, when that is based on children where they were like, you know, children that were like, were based rewarded for the results or they failed the results and then they found it difficult. Basically, the other ones are saying they couldn't do it yet. The brain activity when you're facing difficult things was, was, was just extraordinary. The people that were like, just would give up or just like, oh, I need the results now and then I'm going to find different, like I won't, I suppose the guys would almost like give up because they didn't get the initial results straight away. Their brain was very low, whereas the people that were like that were focused on the yet, I'm not doing it, I'm learning a process, was lots of firing of the, of, of the neurons. And what happened was because it can't do it yet, they would lean into a difficult thing. They would, do it, they would try harder, keep going at it, find different information, just find more creative ways of getting to the outcome. And I thought this was amazing. Um, and when they did the research, they, they talked about not rewarding the results and we talked about this before, and it's about rewarding the process of so the effort of the things you do rather than, oh, I won at this or I didn't do it, win at this. It's about you doing the work. And this is what I found lovely about it. And actually, when I think back about podcasts, I'm sure we did a podcast on Think Bigger, but I know I did, it might have been an older video, but always about Think Bigger. So they talk about, you know, you can't do it yet, but you've got a vision of the future, which is hopeful, which you can still work towards you doing those little steps. So that's really... And the whole point of it, and they did a study on children that were in deprived areas that couldn't even hold a pencil. And after they you know, instilled this power of yet and this strategy, they started becoming the high performers and outperforming, you know, um, other children that were in, you know, well, affluent areas that were necessarily getting good results. So what I'd like us to think about, you know, here on TikTok, here, you know, here on, on, on the podcast is think about how you can get the power of yet into your own life to say, okay. I can't do this yet. So when I'm playing tennis at the minute, I can't hit that serve as hard as I want to yet. So that means I've got to do more practice. That means I've got to put more effort in, all those sorts of things. And so that for me is it. And if I lose a game, actually, I've got to admit, you know, I said I won against a 23-year-old the other day. I lost against a 73-year-old girl the other day, right? But that, that means I've got to get better. That means not yet. I'm still getting better. But that's the process. It's rewarding the process. <laughs>